High school, high school, high school. This is a time where your life shapes. You either go down path A, path B, path C, or path D. Some people waste these years, which accumulate to a wasted life. So if you're a teenager watching this video, and even if you're an adult, you can apply these things I'm gonna talk about today. Now, even if you're younger than a teenager and you're going into high school maybe next year, you can apply these things too. And this isn't a video about or how to make high school easier. This is just, in my opinion, the best route to take when going into high school or if you're in high school right now and you just want to change for the greater good. But as always guys, before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video for more daily self-improvement content just like this one. Also make day in the life videos, mindset videos, everything like that, so make sure to subscribe. But anyways guys, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Let's get straight to number one. I'm not going to number these things. I'm just going to, this is like the order I'm going to go through of the things you should really know before going into high school or if you're in high school right now or even if you're an adult just finished high school and you just want a better approach to life. But guys, the first thing I want to talk about is not giving a flying, I'm not going to say the word because I don't want to get shadow banned or anything. You need to stop caring what people think of you. Now I know this can be very hard for some people. Personally, in my experience, it was really hard for me to get over that slump of not caring what other people think. And to anyone saying, there's no way you can just not care what people think. You are right, because to an extent, you do care what people think, because if you didn't care what people think, you all wouldn't be wearing these clothes right now. I know that sounds really weird, but it's just true. Everyone cares what people think to an extent, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to not care what people think to an extent, if you get what I mean. So if you're watching this video, you're probably different from a lot of people. And right now, you thought you might think that's really bad, which I totally understand because fitting in is classed as alpha or great or whatever. But I'm going to tell you that it's not really. It's not. You're going to get into that mindset of not caring what people think of you. You say you go into high school and you're a massive soccer fan, for example, but all your friends are massive basketball fans. And they might leave you because they want to go on their basketball journey, but then you love your soccer journey or football journey or whatever you want to call it, whatever country you're in watching this video right now. I'm talking about the sport where you kick the ball into the goal. This is just for example, but you don't want to follow that crowd. I'm going to talk about this later, but you don't want to follow that crowd of people. I don't even care if they're your best friends. If you don't have interest in what they're doing and you love something else, you want to follow your dreams. This kind of leads into number two, but if you have that mindset throughout high school or even primary school, or whatever you want to call it, middle school. In Australia, we call it middle school. I mean, primary school here in America, which you're probably watching this video, you probably call it middle school. But if you have that mindset of caring what people think, of you throughout your whole school years, it's not gonna be fun, it's not going to be. It might be fun getting validation of other people, but when you get outside into the real world, trust me, it won't be fun. Unless you wanna settle for an average life, which again, there's nothing wrong with that, but for people who wanna go further on in life, achieve more things, this is a perfect video for you, and you need to get out of that mindset of caring what people think. Now, ways you can do this. Starting a YouTube channel like I'm doing right now, starting a social media account, improving yourself, working out, cold showers, I know this might sound really controversial, but improving yourself establishes a better connection with yourself, which accumulates to not caring what people think. Because you know your self-worth, you love yourself. You don't really care what that person over there thinks. You don't care what Jake thinks on Instagram. So yes, establish a better connection with yourself, work out, cold showers, read books every day, go to bed earlier, get outside, go for nature walks, do anything that establishes a better connection with yourself, that's gonna help you get out of that slump of not caring what people think. Now again, this kind of leads into following your dreams. You do not want to follow someone else's dream just because you wanna fit in with the crowd. This will ruin your life, like really. For example, again, say you're a massive art fan. You love drawing, you love painting, but then your friends, because you could say you're a boy and that's weird, that's weird in school to, have, to like art as a boy. Even though it's not, it's not at all. But some people will class it as that. So you're going to do maybe woodwork or construction as a boy. Just because you want to fit in, have the girls like you and everything like that. But again, nothing wrong with construction, nothing wrong with woodwork or anything like that. I enjoy it personally. And say you get to 12th grade and the only really, the only really job you have offering is a construction job, even though you love art. And then you get out of school and you go with a construction job. Your dream's gone. Like, now you're going to hate your job for the rest of your life unless you take action and start that art. I don't know, business you're gonna start. So please guys, if you don't follow your dreams, this could end up really bad for you. This could, this could end up in a misery, doing something every day you don't enjoy. So for example, again, if you love basketball, and even if you're not good, and if, even if you know you're not good enough for the NBA, for whatever league you're in, whatever country you're in, coach people. There's always a way you can make money and make a living out of what you love. Personally, I love self-development and fitness. 
I know I can make money and make a living off inspiring others and motivating others to do stuff like this. Even though I probably won't make any money off this video, I'm still giving valuable information to the world which I enjoy. There's always something you can do to make a living out of what you love. You seem to open your eyes, open the opportunities to the world and research ways to make money off that thing. It can be off, like literally it can be off highlighters. Like really, like there's any, like this world with social media, you can make money off anything you, you, you want to. Whatever you love, find ways to make money off that and follow your dreams. It's not, not only just making money, just making a living. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be. If you love your job every single day, you're gonna have a good life. I can tell you that right now. Number three, this is probably like the most important one I'm gonna talk about today. The third thing I'm gonna go over is choose your circle wisely. This is very, very, very important. If you choose to get into high school, choose to go, come out of high school and hang with the toxic, the toxiest people ever, you're gonna become that fifth, the sixth toxic person. There's heaps of stuff around there saying, if you hang out with 10 bums, you're gonna become the 11th bum. If you are hanging around with five successful entrepreneurs, you're gonna become that sixth successful entrepreneur. And this is fact, this is not a lie. This is really true. Of course, if your best friend's maybe a little toxic, he likes to drink, he likes to party, that's, that's okay, but don't surround yourself with him or with her. Still hang out with them, of course, but don't take advice, or yes, take advice from everybody. That, that's another thing I wanna talk about. Take advice from everyone, but make sure when you're around people, 99% of the time or 90% of the time, you are hanging around people you inspire to be. That might be a successful entrepreneur. That might be an NBA player, even though it's very hard to access NBA players. But hang around good basketball players, good football players, for example. They can teach you new things. They motivate you to try harder, to, in, to achieve more things. So guys, make sure you choose a new circle wisely. This is very, very important. If you find five really good people at your school, even just two people, even one person that wants to do what you wanna do, trust me, this is gonna help you so much. You're gonna give each other motivation. And even better, if you can find a mentor that's already done what you've done. So for example, if you wanna be a millionaire, if you can find a millionaire to mentor you, even though, again, that's really hard, but if you can, you're extremely blessed and follow that person's advice. So guys, choose your circle wisely. It's very important. And even if you don't have access to anyone, there's always people on the internet. There's me, for example. In the first link below, I have a one-on-one -on -one consultation call program where we can talk anything self-development, mindset, fitness, or whatever. So guys, if you're looking for some advice, there's always the option below there. But the fourth thing I wanna go over is not being a people pleaser. And essentially, what a people pleaser is, is doing things to please other people, as the name says. This can be the biggest trap you fall into in high school or even after high school, before high school. I'm just using high school as a staple point here. You don't wanna go into high school and be a people pleaser. One, you're gonna have like no time on your hands because you're always gonna have people rushing and bombarding you with favors to ask you, but you're gonna come reluctant on them. You're gonna come, you're gonna become reluctant. Your happiness is gonna come from the validation of those people. So say after school, you have a party, or you know, not a party. So say after school, you have to work out. You told yourself you were going to work out, but then this attractive girl comes up to you and says, do you wanna to come to a party tonight? And you go to that party because you, you wanna impress that girl and get her attention. That's not good. You don't wanna be a people pleaser. If you know you have to work out that night, do it. You must ask yourself, what is better? Better outcome. Is working out, getting in the gym, burning those muscles down a good investment? Or is it to go to, go to that party, get drunk, be hung over for the weekend and do nothing for the weekend? What's, what's the best option? You must ask yourself that. You don't wanna do that to please that woman. You don't wanna do that to please him. Of course, it's, it's sometimes good to do this, but if you know and you said to yourself, you're going to work out tonight, for example, you have to do it. Don't be a people pleaser, don't please people. Of course, be kind, be respectful, show humility. I'm not saying be an egotistic person. I'm saying if you wanna get something done and you know you have to do something, you do it. You don't do something else to please somebody else. You put your goals first. You don't put others, others' opinions, others' validation before that. And the last thing I wanna go over today is just to be yourself. Again, if you love sport and your best friends are saying art is better, go with sport, be yourself. You weren't put on this earth to please anyone else. You were put on this earth to be yourself and do what you love and enjoy life to the fullest. Please don't make high school a place where you try and make as many friends as possible. Be yourself. If people don't respect you for who you are, they're not your friends. If they respect you for who you are, they are your friends, remember that. If you have a really good friend and you've been kind of faking your identity to them and you suddenly lash out and be yourself and do what you love doing and they don't respect you for that, they're not a real friend. They are, and you probably weren't a real friend either for not for faking your identity towards them. If you finally start your self-development journey, you are going to lose quite a lot of friends, especially if they were kind of toxic before that. 
but you have to know this is a good thing. You are being yourself. You may only have one or two friends, and if worse comes to worse, you might only have zero, but you will make more friends that enjoy the things you enjoy. If you love self development, like I do, you will find people throughout life that enjoy that, and maybe in high school you will have zero friends, which I know can kind of be hard, but it is what it is. You can't do much about it. So guys, I can't stress this enough. Be yourself. Don't let anyone change you for who you are. But guys, I'm going to go over everything again. So you need to stop giving a crap what people think of you. Please stop. Do what you enjoy. You need to follow your dreams. If you love, again, football and your friends are playing basketball, follow that football dream because trust me, you will not regret it. Number three, choose your circle wisely. Choose mentors. Choose people you want to be, or you want to be like. Don't choose those toxic ass people who smoke and drink every single day. Do not do that. Of course, you can still talk to them, but don't spend all your time after school with them. Spend time with the successful entrepreneurs. Spend time with the successful sport players. Spend time with people who want to do what you want to do. Number four, don't be a people pleaser. Do not please people to accept validation from them. Do what you need to do. Again, going back to that working out example. If you're going to a party tonight, or you're going to work out tonight, and someone asks you to go to a party, and they say, why not? Don't be boring. Screw them. Like, literally, screw them. It's not about people pleasing. It's about going to do what you need to do. But again, sometimes, once every, once every two months, once every three months, you can do that. But if you told yourself, again, if you're going to do this, don't try and please other people to accept their validation. Number five, probably the most important one here, just be yourself. Don't change your identity to please other people. Your real friends will respect you for who you are. If they, if they don't do that, they're a toxic ass friend. I can tell you that right now. So again, don't get ashamed if you lose friends while you're on your self-development journey. That's just a sign that you're doing something right. And believe me with that. If you lose friends for doing what you love, that's a sign you're doing something right. And if you gain better friends, that's even a better sign. But guys, that's the best advice I can give for high school. Now, of course, you don't have to listen to me. It's all preference based. I'm only 15, but in the last year, I've changed my whole lifestyle and it's been so much better. So guys, if you did enjoy this advice and you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave it a like, comment below, and also share this with a friend if you think this information would be valuable to someone else. And also, don't forget to subscribe as well. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys are interested in a free workout plan, that is in the first link below, as well as the one-on-one -on -one calls. Again, if you need any advice, if you want to stop caring what people think of you, you need to stop watching those dirty websites, for example, any fitness help, I'm here for you. You can book one-on-one -on -one calls below. And again, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it because I want to help you guys. Of course, money is also a good thing as well, but those one-on-one -on -one calls are strictly for you guys who maybe these videos just aren't enough and you have no motivation to do it. I can work with you and we can help you break through that slump and transform your life for the greater good. But anyways, guys, other than that, I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.